All right. Um, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, we have m equals negative 2 thirds, and uh, we have a point negative 9 fourths. Now, I didn't write in the, I didn't write in the uh, directions for this one, but this is going to, Tyler, this is going to be some problems that you guys will be going over um, in your worksheet for today. And basically what the question is saying is, given the slope, which we just talked about, how to find the slope between two points, given the slope and a point, write the equation in slope-intercept form. So the first thing, you know, here is our information. The next thing we need to understand, well, what exactly is slope-intercept form? Slope-intercept form for an equation is y equals mx plus b. Last class, two class periods ago, guys, we talked about, you know, we did tables, we, gra we tried graphing, functions, quadratics, cubics. We did a whole bunch of uh, stuff. Today, we're just going to focus on writing equations of lines. And one of the more popular ways to write the equation of a line is slope-intercept form. All right, and where m represents your slope, and b represents your y-intercept, where the graph crosses the y-axis. Okay. So, um, what they're asking us to do is to write the equation in this format. So, looking at the information we have, do we know what the slope is? Yes. Yes, obviously. So we can write in negative 2 thirds x plus b. But when writing an equation, we don't know, we don't have a y, we don't have an x, we don't have a b. All right? So now it's very, very important for us to understand. Marissa, what does b represent again? Y-intercept. It's OK. All right. Thank you, Marissa. It represents the y-intercept, where the graph crosses the y-axis. When, when we are graphing, if you guys remember, we were graphing, we had a y-axis and an x-axis. So whatever the value of b is, that's going to be the coordinate point, or not the coordinate, but that's going to be the value on the y-axis where the graph crosses. OK? OK. So we don't know the y-intercept. They don't give us that information. Now, the next thing is, what does y and x represent in that equation? And this is a very important question. I'd like to see if we can have an inchance. Yes, Jamie. Well, we don't, all right, we have B represented here. What do you guys, what does Y and X represent? No, rise over run, we're going to have represented by the slope. Let me, let me take a look at it this way, ladies and gentlemen. So far, we are given the slope. We know the slope is a rise of run, the change in the y-coordinates over the change in the x-coordinates. When we were graphing two class periods ago, we plotted points, right? We gave you guys, I gave you, I said, hey, guys, here's a table of values, x, y. And I say, plot these points, or plug them in. And whatever the values, you plugged in your values for x, and you solve for your values of y. And to graph the point, to graph everything, you plot it in those points. And by connecting all those points in the table, you could draw the shape of the graph. So what the x and the y represent in the equation, the x and the y represent all of the different x and y coordinates that make up the line. Okay. So the x and the y represent the infinite many points. They represent this point, that point, this point, that point, this point, that point. So we still don't know what the y-intercept is. But do we know what point that lies on the line? Yes. yes. What is that point? Negative 9. Yeah. So we have an x and a y coordinate. So if I already know what slope is, and I, do not, I need to solve for b, I can now plug this point in. Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, when you're multiplying a fraction by a whole number, convert your whole number to a fraction by putting it over 1. Now you can go ahead and multiply across if you want to, or you could simplify it. So now we have 18 divided by 3, which is going to be 6. Amy, 
that's not going to get you anywhere quicker, OK? So we have negative 2 equals b, all right? So now we know our value of b, all right? Now we have the value of negative, negative 2 equals b. And we know what the slope is. So now we can write the equation in slope-intercept form.